Indie games have been taken over the world by storm, and that is to be expected. The devs put so much love and care into these games that you can't consciously ignore them. Coming from a AAA background, I did not know that there existed such a beautifully maintained world of indie games that are appreciated by most of the gaming population. So I went exploring and came across multiple gems, and out of these, I found some games that completely blew me away. So I made this video to share with you 7 indie games you must play before you die. And one rule i put upon myself is that i have to play these games for at least five hours and leave an honest positive review hollow knight i would do anything to play this game again for the first time i got this game on sale but even if i paid full price it still feels like i would be ripping off the devs you are bug in a kingdom of bugs fight bugs find bug secrets make bug friends kill mean bugs be strongest bug kill bug god Papanada. This game exceeded my expectations. At first, I thought this was just another overhyped game until I started playing and my god, I didn't even realize how many hours had passed away while I was playing. The world feels so calm and scary at the same time. The ambience creates this feeling of timelessness when playing. I honestly thought it had only been 10 minutes when I looked at the clock and it said 2 hours. Hollow Knight is an action platform or roguelike game which throws you into the world and leaves the story in your hand. Every single person can have a different experience playing this game. There is no right or wrong way to go. You can explore anywhere and somehow everything just falls into place. The simple mechanics of the game make it easy for new players to pick up. But the built-in difficulty provides a challenge for every type of player. They somehow got every aspect of the game right. If you're looking for a new and unique experience, I would suggest you pick this game up. My Hollow Knight review. Honestly, this game feels like 2D Elden Ring. The hype around the game was accurate, which is very rare nowadays. And I actually had so much fun playing this game. I'm going back to poke some bugs with my stick, and I 100% recommend you do the same. This game is worth a buy. Terraria. The only bad thing about Terraria is that it ends. There was a review long time ago saying you should buy extra copies and give it to people who look sad. I was one of those sad people. Was. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. One of the most addicting games I have ever played. And if you call this 2D Minecraft, I will punch you in the balls. <laughs> I have played this game with so many of my friends and completed the game at expert difficulty multiple times and I'm still not bored of it. I have to force myself not to play this game. It's that good. Terraria is a 2D survival sandbox game and I'm sure you must have heard of this game at least once because a lot of people like to compare it with Minecraft. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Minecraft nerd but Terraria, this game sexes my soul. I don't know what that means, okay? But that's the best description I can give. It has multitudes of bosses, enemies, items, and biomes. Terraria devs promised the community that they'll stop updating their game after 1.0. But they just can't stop. To this very day, the dev team keeps updating their game and introduce new content and quality of life changes. I have never heard of such a weird thing from the devs. I almost want to go over to their HQ and give them a kiss. If you have never played Terraria and still won't play it after watching this video, I feel sad for you. Sad. My Terraria review. I cannot play enough Terraria. I need help. I am so addicted to this game. Even after finishing the game three times, I discovered that you can mod the game? And there is so much more fucking content in the mods. My god. This game spoils me. It has raised the bar for survival games so high. Buy this game. And it's not 2D Minecraft. Outer Wilds. I am saddened that I will probably never experience another game like this one in a million. You can only truly experience this game once. It's perfect in what it tries to accomplish. This game ranks number one in games I want to discuss with my friends but none of my friends will play it and I can't get them to play it because I can't tell them what's so good about the game without spoiling it. Please someone just play this game. I have had this game in my wish list for a very long time and this video gave me the perfect excuse to play it. Space games are very hard to make correct. I don't think I've ever played a good space game other than Outer Wilds. They either have insanely long travel times or weird teleportation systems that don't really give off the feeling of being in space. 
but luckily outer wilds managed to capture that vastness of space while also keeping it easy to travel to other planets. They somehow managed to hit that sweet spot. I will try to keep this as spoiler free as possible because the best way to play this game is to go into it blind. You are thrown into this beautifully set up solar system and have been given only one job, explore. The more you explore, the more mysteries come up and they eventually start to connect. It is one of the most unique experiences you will have in gaming. It has good mechanics, mind-bending puzzles, and it is somehow cozy and terrifying at the same time. I'll be chilling in space, and suddenly, I'll be fighting for my life. No matter what genre you play, I bet my ass on it you will enjoy this game. If you have even the slightest urge to play this game, don't watch any videos or reviews or articles. Just go into it without any knowledge. Because the less you know about this game, the better experience you'll have. My Outer Wilds review. I am so at peace while playing this game. I love the exploration and the weird mechanics this game has. There are so many things I want to write in this review, but I don't want to ruin your experience. Don't look this game up. Don't read any more reviews. Go into it blind. You are going to love it. Risk of Rain 2 Decided to try this game out before I went to bed at 11pm. About 10 minutes into my first game, I looked at the clock and it was 6am. Weird. In Risk of Rain 2, your entire goal is to become so powerful that you no longer have any indication of what's happening on screen. I had to uninstall this game at one point because it was too addicting. I'm convinced that if you don't like Risk of Rain 2, you like kids. This game is so fucking good. I have 69 hours on this game and I can't get enough of it. Risk of Rain 2 is an action roguelike multiplayer game in which your whole job is to become so OP that your PC crashes. At first, you're going to be destroyed by the NPCs, but once you start getting a taste of things that you're capable of doing in this game, you won't be able to stop. One warning I give you is that this game is super addicting. I bought this game to play with a friend casually for an hour or so, but after finishing a few runs, we could hear the birds outside screaming at us to go to sleep. You are sent into this world to eliminate all enemies you can and as fast as you can. It has multiple different characters, each with their unique abilities and gameplay style. It can be a tank, a DPS, an assassin, a fucking gorilla, and basically it suits every type of player. And one thing I really like about this game is that they give you specific tasks to unlock a new character which introduces many different ways to play the game and it's not the same cliche stuff like other games where the more you play the more currency you earn and that currency unlocks new characters that's just a cheap way to keep players playing go buy this game you won't regret it my risk of rain 2 review if your chest eyes and pc aren't burning after a run you're doing something wrong playing this game feels like snorting cocaine and masturbating at the same time so much action, so much chaos, so much dopamine. You know, talking of dopamine, what's gonna give me much more dopamine? I'm gonna get such a big orgasm if I hit 100k subs. And I'm on the way to that. So please leave a sub to help me on this journey. Dead Cells. Game so good, I bought it after trying it pirated. The first 1387 hours have been good. What the fuck? Devs somehow managed to make every correct decision when it came to game design and are still making the right calls. Wow, I agree. And I don't know how they managed to make this game so easy yet so hard. I got into the game and was straight away thrown into the action. The controls are so basic, it took me just a minute to get used to it. The first two levels babysit you a little bit like, you good? Having fun? Here's a new toy. Go kill that thing. And suddenly it jumps to fuck you, die, suffer. And you're just sitting there processing, what the fuck? fuck just happened? Dead Cells is an action road like pixel 2D game that managed to find all the fun ingredients and pour it into this game. It has delightful and satisfying action. The weapons feel so smooth and all the items seem to complement each other in some way. And when gamers find a game this fulfilling, they just can't stop. I legit took a break while editing this video just to play one more run of Dead Cells. It is so easy to get into but also so hard to master. I can be chill while playing this game and at the same time have my ass sweating. Every run you play you earn these cells that you can use to unlock new items that benefit you in your future runs and you always get that sense of progression. If I were to describe this game in one word, I'd call it satisfyingly chill ass sweating game. My Dead Cells review. I will fight a kid 
to play this game. Inscription. Inscription is a palate cleanser. It made me realize how mediocre most games are nowadays. This is a truly special game and shouldn't be missed. This is one of those games that truly deserves a stop reading reviews and go play it blind. Incredible. Very nice story. Even after finishing, I can't help but revisit it every now and again to play some cards. I will be 100% honest with you, I don't play card games and had no expectation of even including this game in this video when I bought it. But I still wanted to give it a try and god damn, I fucking love this game. At first, it's a bit weird to learn if you're not used to such games. But once you get the hang of it and start understanding the little things, the game becomes so interesting. Inscription is a horror card battle roguelike game. You are kidnapped and forced to play a card game if you want to escape. It's such a great idea and it really uses aesthetic, character and narrative in a way that you don't see most of these kinds of games doing. The game tends to go for repetition and replayability. Each game mode of the game builds and twists and folds on itself. The game uses the concept of learning through experience. Every run will have you with a unique deck and a new skill you learned. It's an overall great experience which I highly recommend you try. My inscription review. Why aren't you buying this game? Are you dumb? No. Are you dumb? Huh? Buy it. P.S. It's pretty fun. Subnautica. One of those games I really wish I could forget and play. Somehow relaxing and stressful at the same time. Big water with big fish make big fun. One of the only ocean based games I have ever played and honestly this is something I have never experienced. They managed to hit the right spot between cozy and terrifying. I could be chilling, collecting materials from my base and next minute I am screaming running from this big ass alien fish. Subnautica is an open world survival horror sci-fi game that lets you descend into the depths of an alien underwater world filled with wonder and peril. I was not expecting so much fun. It has everything from an awesome soundtrack great graphics, interesting and simple story, aliens and so much flora and fauna. It starts slowly and the more you play, the more things you can do. But you can choose not to. You can progress without having to progress. Which is kind of weird to say. But you can dive with your exosuit or whip up a vehicle. You have all the freedom you can get from the game. The more I describe the game, the less fun you're going to have because exploration is one of the key factors. So just go on and play the game. My Subnautica review. This gave me a phobia of oceans or rather the unknown but it was pretty fun the ass clenching to save my life aside it was one of those unique survival games that you should try at least once i just wish it had co-op so i could hear my friend scream <laughs> Oh, <laughs>